So, I'm just watching the Burnley and Everton game at the moment. Here we go. And, um, yeah, well, straight away, Brady has, uh, has turned my prediction to shit. But I'm quickly on Twitter, and I've just seen, and I want to, you know, film it quickly. There's a debate on Twitter right now. Sorry if I look over here, I'm watching the game. But it's about Coutinho versus Bruno Fernandes. And for me, it's um, it's a weird question. Oh, Burnley nearly scored. But anyway, it's a weird question because you're looking at two different timelines in terms of, you know... Bruno now has had a fantastic impact on Manchester United, but one man cannot save the shitstorm that is that club at the moment from the way the clubs run, um, you know, with the, the owners, with the executives, you know, all the way to the manager of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who I don't think is good enough to take Manchester United to where they need to be. But yet, Bruno Fernandes, for me, has had as much impact as one player can have on Manchester United at the moment. Whereas Coutinho right now, he's still a class player. And for me, he's still underrated. And it, when he's full confidence and full whack, Philippe Coutinho is phenomenal. There's no question about it. He's absolutely exceptional. And when, he, when Liverpool sold, him for 140 million there's no bones about it I won't have anything else said Philippe Coutinho at that time was worth 140 million Barca did not overpay for him he was worth 140 million he was top five in the world for me Philippe Coutinho when he was at Liverpool and he was you know at his best he was phenomenal absolutely exceptional Coutinho in this side now and whew, could you just imagine the scenes, you know, he's a, he's a Thiago-esque, you know, he was Thiago-esque level, he really was, he was elite, exceptional. Um, so, it's two different things, if you're asking Fernandez at his best, and Coutinho at his best, Coutinho all day long, not even a second, not a shadow of a date.